Hey guys, this is Bruce, and today we're going to be talking about a cybersecurity specialist at Aberdeen, Maryland with a federal agency. Before I start, you should know that I'm going to have all the descriptions of this stuff below, along with links to a course that I have going on that talks about cybersecurity, how to get into cybersecurity and make up to six figures, how I've been able to do it all these years, and also how I've been able to do remote work for the last five, six years actually more like four or five years but I've been doing it back to back and I'm gonna show you how I do that but that's in the description below let's get started so first off I want to I want to just start by saying there's so many jobs in in Maryland Maryland Virginia Colorado Texas and Southern Colorado for security if, you, if you're interested in security you'll notice those jobs come up over and over and again and Aberdeen is one of those places that just got it's just so many jobs for cybersecurity particularly for this stuff I'm gonna to read to you right now but this is coming from the eTalent network this is a stabbing agency that does work for lots of different large and small organizations there it's a cybersecurity specialist in Aberdeen Maryland for a full-time position you must have a secret clearance or higher immediately limit eliminates a lot of people here but you can still kind of glean a lot of information that um, you wouldn't otherwise know as far as like what are people looking for what are employers looking for if you're trying to get into cybersecurity so let's keep going here certifications this is a high level secure high level job because they're asking for CISSP a cap a CASP a CISM GSLC uh, or an IAM level 2 IAM level 2 is actually security plus so unless they're confused because they didn't mention security plus here so that's that's odd anyway let's keep going job description provide a subject matter expertise in the provision of information assurance now I know a lot about this stuff I'm actually doing a whole course on what this stuff is what it means information assurance so support a certification and accreditation which they don't call it certification and accreditation anymore and die cap or risk management framework accreditation packages so this is all security compliance work it sounds like to me a requirements a requirements analysis security test and evaluation plans and execution risk assessments system analyst hardening incident response policy and analysis and on and on so this is all I this stuff I really know but what are they looking for design develop and recommend integrated security system solutions so it sounds to me like they've got new systems coming in so they need a system security analyst in this case they're calling it a cyber security specialist but I've heard it called other things like information system security officer I've heard it called information system security engineer I've heard it called information assurance engineer that they, they use these words kinda arbitrarily to be honest with you everybody has a different interpretation of what those combination of words mean it's really kind of all over the place but let's just get into the requirements of what they actually want rather than just reading the description required experience associates degree and nine years of experience that's great or a bachelor's degree with seven years of experience or a master's degree with five years of experience or combined a combination of 11 years which may include an education expertise certification expert so this sounds like they're pretty open pretty open like an associate's degree you might even want to like let's say you don't have a degree but you have a CISSP you might even want to contact them anyway so this is, this is the kind of tactics that I use they say they want a bachelor's degree right or not a bachelor's too extreme or they say they want an associate's degree right and they say you must have an associate's degree but you come in and you say I have a CISSP I have a security plus and I have six years of experience I've got 20 years of experience doing IT work and I've got you know like you you come to the table with something you need to come to the table with something but you don't necessarily meet their requirements sometimes the employer will say well how about this we'll hire you even though you don't have an associate's degree but we require you to get an associate's degree within X months within one year and then you go ahead and get that and then they're okay with that so that's what there was an employer like one of my first when I got out of the military one of my first jobs doing system security engine this kind of stuff here this cyber security specialist work now before this I'd been an admin doing Unix stuff and all that I did that for like a year 
and a half or so. Anyway, I started doing, when I got in the military, I started doing risk management framework um, at, the con, at the time they call it DIACAP. But I came in and I had a bachelor's degree, but I didn't have a CISSP in the job. But the position required a CISSP. And they said, look, we'll hire you, but we want you to get a CISSP within X months. And I said, sure, I'll do it. So they will work with you is what I'm trying to say with you. Say if you if you can bring something to the table. In my case, I already had like five years of experience at doing what they wanted. And I, I had a lot of technical experience with the, which they needed. Very hands-on technical system admin work that I had done so I, I could bring that to the table. Plus, I already had like a, other certifications. Okay, let's keep going here. Technical assessment of IT security controls. That's a lot of the work that you'll you'll be doing if you take this job for networks, applications, and systems using information assurance, IT auditing tools such as Tenable, Nessus, Retina, and other auditing tools. Experience with patch management software such as WSUS, SCCM, SMS, uh, and Hercules. And a lot of times, this this is so much work unless it's a very small environment that they have a whole team. They got other people that do this because this is a full patch management is a full time job. Vulnerabilities managing those they come out like weekly, so it's a full time job, especially if you have a large environment. So I imagine they want you to have some experience with it, but there's going to be other people to help you. I hope I don't know if 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 it was like you're doing everything, I wouldn't take the job. If I were you, performing risk assessment for IT systems, experience with enterprise mission mission oh EMAS. Enterprise Mission Assurance Support Service. That's basically like a, it's like a database that helps you to manage the risk management framework process. You're putting data of uh, all the security controls that you put on your system on this like database. You're not a DBA or anything. You're basically just putting the data in this huge database of systems. And normally if, if it's EMAS, that means there's a collection of systems. There's tons of other systems there and it's a large environment because they're not emas is not is not cheap this has got to be government it's definitely definitely dod or something okay proficient with office secret you need a secret clearance security clearance and the ability of, to obtain a top secret clearance the cissp or equivalent iam level three okay so this is kind of a contradiction down here they're saying i am iam or iat level three then up here they kind of mentioned so that's why I think this is a typo. That's a typo right there. Otherwise they would have put security plus because uh, that's the go to I am level two item. All right. I think that's it, guys. I'm gonna put the description and the contact information below if you're interested in this position. If you think that you know if you fit this the bill on this, and I hope that if if you are new to this and you don't necessarily have an associate's degree in nine years experience or bachelor's degree in seven years experience, you can at least get some idea of like. What are they looking for? What are employers looking for? What do they want if you're a cybersecurity person? What levels are there? What's the baseline of this stuff? That's why I do these things. Anyway, guys, that's it. See you next time.